Okay, so we got the Mac on the table now. Let's take a peek at what it'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little button right here on the end. I'm assuming that's how we start up. Perhaps not. Perhaps that's just for pairing to the uh, Mac. Okay. That being the case, I'm going to reach behind. I'm going to feel for where typically a Mac on button is. And there we go. So I might have done that backward. I might have done that wrong. I really thought you could turn on from this little button right here. So it's blinking right now, which might be, I might have screwed up. So we'll see. See if these two guys play together well. So that's probably, I guess, a um, a, blue, a Bluetooth function, that little blinking green thing there. So mine came with a battery already in, installed inside it. Okay, so it's saying go ahead and... Uh, okay, it says click the mouse and the thing here on the... So there's a little thing on the bottom of the mouse, a little lever. It's saying turn it down, I guess. Yeah. Flip it down that way. Okay, which I just did. That same push this again. I'm gonna push this. It's pretty cool. Is that still recording behind me? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. So I've done both of those things. It says push that up. Oh, look at this. It does. So I guess I can push that. Oh, ooh, welcoming, welcoming, and all that stuff. It's doing all kind of a. I could already put my English, you know, use English for the main language. I would to say. Use so. English for the main language. Press the return key. Okay. Boom. Ah! I was expecting to talk to you. That's kind of cool. Like, kind of, kind of a cool. Uh, what if I'd done UK? It would have probably sounded different. Let's see. So, welcome, Mr. Few Steps. You can register your Mac. United States, yes. Continue. Okay, and choose a keyboard layout. Uh, United States, yep, that's us. And then we got our thing here, which is going to be your Wi-Fi. Yeah, I guess this this one here. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Wi-Fi password. So I know what that is. That is a. Uh, and hit continue. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Okay, and there it is. Hallelujah. There's the, the I'll turn this around here you can see. That is the uh, 5K screen, and I can't even detect a pixel on it. I mean, I can't even see a pixel. I'm shooting this in 1080p right now. I've got Nikki's blanket impaled with the leg of this thing. Let's see. <laughs> so, there we go. That's what it looks like. And I, mean, I, could, I could just take this GoPro right on in to be up beyond the point where it will uh, focus, I'm sure. Let's take a see. So yeah, we're back now about a foot and a half from it. So there you go. If your, your 1080p screen can get that, if my uh, uh, GoPro stay in focus, you can see every little fuzz on every little tree. It is amazing. And some of the videos I was looking at that I'd shot and uh, was sampling it earlier on the screen was just fantastic. Okay, let's uh let's take a peek at what's inside here, I guess. Safari. Let's make sure our Safari's working. Welcome to Safari, the smartest way the smartest way to surf. Okay, I got you. Start using Safari, yes. Of course YouTube's where I'm gonna want to go right quick. <laughs> See how one of my five four K videos look on YouTube. So let's see, uh, let's do a quick search for YouTube. Okay, it's allowing me to connect up to my Apple with uh, mail, notes, calendar, reminders, contacts, et cetera, through my Gmail, which is kind of cool. That's kind of neat. So the Mac will actually go to my Gmail and check for stuff. Look at this. Pretty darn cool. Sign in with your Apple ID to see unlimited messages. I need to create a new Apple ID is what I need to do. So it's opened up all kinds of stuff here. Reminders, calendars. Now I am logged in as myself there. Yes, so I got this and holy crap. This screen could be huge. Okay. Interesting. All right. 
trying to find one of my 4K videos. So I go here and do Creative Studio, Video Manager. And here is Spectacular Chest of View, 4K. And if I do. Come back, John. He's gone. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. I like to party. I like to party. Hello, everyone. I just you, and I'm shooting in 1080p right now. Okay, it's probably going to be hard. Ready to shoot some 4K. One of the most spectacular places. It's a lot of data. Appalachia. So if you overlook, and it's right down the hill, down this little path here below me. So we're going to switch over to 4K right now. This would be a good way for you to see the difference in 1080p and 4K. So folks, you get to a point down the Holy trail where you can see this. It does look good. I'm just shooting still right now. I'm not uh, panning or anything. It's gonna look so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it and say, yeah, that looks fantastic. You are looking at it in 1080p with this video I'm shooting now. If I get close, you can see all those little trees. All the lines and rocks and the bark and everything looks great. I actually encoded this video at, I think, 44 megs per second. I do not know what YouTube smashes it down to, but as long as I'm not moving much, it looks great. So this looks almost like a photo. If I, if I click on it again, you'll be able to see these little leaves and the trees wiggle a little. A little bit of it. But now we'll walk yeah. down to the uh, bottom and actually look back toward Table Rock. We'll get fuzzy the camera when we do this. Yeah. As possible. Now all this mush, mush that happens here because the camera's moving around and YouTube over compresses those areas where you're moving. So folks, it looks great. The Apple uh, 5K with 5K retina screen, splendid. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's nice, it's killer.